Hi everyone, it's Dutch Reefer here and welcome to this video review of the Luxbird Part 38 LED that you can use for a refugium. So some of you might know I have been uh, using macro algae uh, on and off um, before I uh, grew some uh, Kato macro algae for a while in my sump until it started decaying and I removed it altogether. Then I didn't use any uh, macroalgae for a while and I came across a new light which I thought was interesting and decided to, uh, to start again using macroalgae in my sump, essentially creating a refugium. So let's get into that. So as I said, I've been uh, ditching the uh, Kato ever since and I've switched to uh, a new type of uh, macroalgae. These are two different uh, algae of the same species. Uh, the top one is a Caulerpa taxifolia and the bottom one is a Caulerpa racemosa. Um, and um, both have been uh, growing uh, pretty well. If you look at the structure, then you can see that the taxifolia has a leaf-like structure and the uh, new roots are growing quite long and the racemosa is somewhat more compact and you can see that the leaves are really just very small green bubbles this doesn't actually help much so I'll just show it to you like this ah, that way you can see the structure so even with these two subspecies and especially the racemosa there are even more subspecies uh, but this one uh, is a, a nice one to use. So these are the two algae that I'm uh, growing in the sump. And as I mentioned, I'm using a Luxbird Part 38 LED light to light the algae. The uh, Luxbird Part 38 is a uh, uh, a light that fits into a very standard fitting as you can see right here on the page that I printed out it uses a standard E26 or E27 fitting uh, a part of the, this depending on where you live I think the E26 is uh, used in uh, the United States and the E27 is used here in Europe and the light consists of uh, four blue LEDs and 14 uh, red LEDs um, all of them are uh, 1 watt, so that counts up to 18 watts of light. Um, as you can see right here, the PAR values are supposed to be around 400 on a depth of 30 centimeters and about 240 at 40 centimeters. And the spread is around 30 centimeters wide. Well, the light itself is around 10 centimeters wide, as you can see. And the area that I'm trying to light with it in the sump of the reefer is around 40 by 20 to 30 centimeters, so it's just sufficient. And um, well, to get straight into it, the light has been performing very, very well. Um, I've got these uh, algae um, as very small frags, as you might call them. And uh, they have grown into a huge, uh, to a huge colony of uh, of algae. So I need to prune them regularly to prevent them from uh, taking over the entire sump. Um, and they really are. Uh, well, the growth has been amazing under this light. The lights is on for about 10 to 12, or, uh, to 12 to 16 hours a day. I think 12. Yeah, it's 12 right now. I had it at 16, but it was uh, growing a little too much, so I decided to, uh, to reduce the time to 12 hours a day, and that's mostly during the night to, uh, to help the uh, pH value of your water remain a little bit stable. So as you can see, the uh, LED light, which is 18 watts, uh, is passively cooled so there's no active cooling involved and of course then it's uh, good to know what kind of temperatures it's putting out so that's why I'm going to show you so when you look at the uh, the base of the light 
it's about 40 to 50 degrees Celsius you can see right here when you move closer to the top it goes up to 60 I think right here is the hotspot around 60 to 65 degrees Celsius which is high but definitely still acceptable for a passively cooled light so as you can see I can still touch it and keep my hands on it for a few seconds before it gets too hot so and especially here it's not an issue to uh, to touch it but do keep in mind that you don't want it directly against some uh, thin hose or something so keep it uh, free in your uh, in your sump if you're using this light um, another thing I want to show you is the uh, the growth and the color of the algae. Of course, when you're putting a lot of pink light on it, it's a bit hard to see. So I've decided to uh, take out the flashlight and uh, show you the uh, the health of these macro algae. And all I can say is that I'm really happy with the way it grows. As you can see, there's a lot of new uh, new roots coming out of the uh, of the macroalgae, and um, it's growing uh, it's growing very uh, very well. So you need, as you can see, I need to uh, prune it a little bit off the top here, since it's growing above the water surface. So all in all, I am extremely happy with uh, the results that this uh, LED gives. Now that it's off I can show you a bit of the inside as well. So right here you can see the structure of the uh, of the light. There's the 18 uh, LEDs. Like I mentioned 14 red ones and uh, 4 blue ones. And they are covered off by a nice plate so it's splash water resistant as well. Please don't drop it into your tank but you can splash some water over it no problem. So to conclude, this uh, light has been treating the algae very well. I have been uh, surprised by the amount of growth that it has created in my uh, in my sump and in my refugium, as you might call it. And uh, yeah, I can definitely recommend this uh, this light, especially since it's uh, pretty cheap. You can pick it up, I think, for around twenty-five to thirty dollars, depending on where you uh, live. And um, yeah. Just uh, overall very satisfied and uh, I hope you uh, you enjoyed the video and you can appreciate this kind of review style. If you have any uh, tips or comments then uh, please let me know. And uh, for now uh, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.